I've got a new GameCube, but it's not just any GameCube. Before we get started with all this stuff, I'm curious, what are your favorite GameCube games and have you played them recently? I want to know if they hold up. This GameCube is modded with Pico Boot. Came like that out of the box. I didn't have to do any soldering myself. And that is all thanks to Handheld Legend. You may have seen a few days ago I released a video about the N64. Now I'm going to be talking about the GameCube. So what is Pico Boot? Well, it enables the homebrew on your GameCube, meaning that you can install basically anything. The sky's the limit. And this is easy mode. You're not going to have to do any hacking or anything like that because the good folks over at Handheld Legend have installed all of this for us. All right, we all know that we've got our 50% off sale going on this month until the end of the month. The coupon code is save the shelves, but you know, I'm gonna do something a little bit special. See all these games, I've got a box of some games. I've got duplicates of some of these and some of them I just don't wanna take with me when I move. So when you're placing your order, you can add a note. Just add a note saying like, give me a game and I'll throw a game in your box. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now, some of this stuff is quite a bit heavier than the other stuff, like these battle chests and whatnot. I'll put one of those into like bigger boxes and stuff, but you know, let's have a little bit of fun here. Grab up some of this physical media while I've got it here and give it a nice new home. All the while you're getting half price off on some gear, some t-shirts, maybe this, I don't know, mouse pads, whatever. So head over to epicpants.com and just add a little note for me when you're checking out and I'll send you a game. So let's look at this GameCube here. It looks completely normal. Where, where's the mod? What's going on? Well, the mod is under the hood. So you're not going to see anything. It looks like a totally normal GameCube until you turn it on and realize, oh, this doesn't start correctly. It doesn't do anything. That's because you need something else in order for it to start. And that is this little GameCube, SD2 SP2. What is SP2? Huh? What is, what is that? All right, so let's turn the GameCube over and take off that serial port cover on the back. It was never really used for anything. It's the same interface as your two memory cards in the front. And we can use that to plug in an SD card and our... Is your brain going where my brain's going? Yes, you can load up the SD card with all kinds of games and it doesn't require jumping through any hoops. If you let them just do it and send you the GameCube, all you have to do is get this, put your games on there. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, but that's not all. I feel like Billy Mays right now. You can install all kinds of other emulators. So you got your GameCube games, but you can also install Super Nintendo games. Turbo Graphics. Yeah, I got that. Neo Geo, sure thing. Enhanced Game Boy Advance, sure. Regular Nintendo, Genesis, and even the Nintendo 64. These are all emulated. The GameCube games are playing natively. I'm gonna show you how this works, then we'll play some games and have some fun. Now, it's important to note that not all SD cards worked. I tried a few of them, especially some of the U3 cards. Some of the faster ones did not work. Some of the slower ones did work. Some of them didn't. So there's a compatibility list. I would recommend looking through this. Now, I found a couple. I've tried like four or five myself. I found a couple that were not on this list, and I'll put those um, in the description, like some links to those that actually work that were like 512, some bigger ones. So just use this as a cheat sheet. Again, this link is going to be in the description. You know, I've got one. It's formatted as EX fat right there's my memory card it's empty right now but ex fat ain't gonna work but check this out if i want to format this i can right click and click on format with windows and fat is not an option like fat 32 nope so we got to download a program just grab fat 32 formatter link for this in the description as well click on that yep that's what i want all right there we go and inside here you'll have gui format x64 if you're running a 64-bit operating system like you probably are then this comes up. Be very careful. It shows all your drives right there. That's the one I want. It's 200 gigabytes. That's the name EX Fatness. I always click to make sure that's it. F drive. Yes. Not the, not anything else. The F drive. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to format that. Do a quick format and it just automatically does FAT32. And I'm actually going to title this Swiss. You can title it anything you like, but I'm titling it Swiss because we're going to put the Swiss Army knife on there right after this. Yes, it's going to be lost. And we're good. What you need is a little program called Swiss. It's on GitHub and it's basically just a bootloader that'll work with the pre-installed Pico boot mod. So go ahead and click on the Swiss right there, scroll down and you wanna get the seven zip file right here, download that and just click on it to open. There it is, Swiss. So, you know, we don't need to extract this or anything. We can just go in here and there's all this junk. We don't need any of it. All we need is what's in the doll file. So in the doll folder that is. See this Swiss, whatever to tell you the version number right there, dot doll. Just drag that over to the root of your memory card. There it is. Now, 
we just need to change the name to IPL. That's all you got to do. Now let's put some games on here. So I'm going to do just like a new folder. Make a folder called GameCube Games. It does not matter what you title this. That's the thing that was like tripping me up at first. I was like, how do I do this? Oh, it's so easy. It works with any name. Now just put your GameCube ISO files in here. Where do you get those? And you sh you can make your own backups if you have the equipment. But you know, not you can grab some backups from an internet, internet archive, archive that's books. just out there yeah. hanging out. All right, so the GameCube games play back without emulation. They're just loading up the ISO files, and it's just pretending it's a little mini DVD, and it works. But let's say you want some more emulators. Well, we've got plenty. Let's grab SNES 9X, and you want to grab the GameCube version. So click on that. I'm just going to open up that zip file. There's the file that's inside. Just navigate uh, into the folder and then grab this SNEX 9X, whatever. Just grab the doll file and throw it on your memory card. Now, here's the thing. You want to rename this, and you want to rename it to one of your GameCube buttons, B, Y, or X. I'm going to make this one B, so capital B. Now, the way this works is if you want to start your SNES emulators and stuff, you hold down the B button while you're powering on your GameCube, and then it'll start right into the SNEX 9X GX menu. So you're going to want to put some Super Nintendo games on here as well. So I'm going to make a folder for SNES games. And once you start the GameCube, you'll just need to, you know, like open this up and navigate to this folder where you're going to put your games. And I'll throw a few games in there as well. I'm not going to walk you through this part. Just fill this up with games. And it's pretty much the same for these other emulators as well. I did not get all of them to work. And that could be because my SD card is not like officially on the supported list. For instance, the N64 emulator will load up. But whenever I click on the SD card to browse to my files, it cannot find the SD card, even though it loaded from the SD card. So that's weird. I may have to mess around with those configuration files. But the main thing for me with the Super Nintendo and Game Boy Advance work just fine. It's really nice having Game Boy Advance on a big screen like this, being able to play it on a CRT and not like a computer monitor because it looks a lot cooler on a CRT in my opinion and has very nice fluidity of motion. Playing my Game Boy Advance games like this is going to be awesome. Otherwise, I'm just going to be using my Wii for the emulation and that's mainly because I have Super Nintendo controllers for my Wii that are like official real Super Nintendo controllers with the adapters. So I'm going to use those, but go ahead and give any of these a try. Maybe they'll work for you if you have a different SD card. So let me know what you think of this. Are you thinking about grabbing one of these? Which color are you going to get? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, and what games are you going to play first once you get your Pico Boot modded GameCube from Handheld Legend? They didn't sponsor this video, but they did send this stuff over. So thanks very much to them. I do have links to all this stuff in the description. So be sure to click down there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're someone who likes video games and all this old retro stuff, uh, maybe you'll like my music. So I'll play a little bit of my music. Uh, if you like it, there's a link in the description to grab that as well. It's over on Bandcamp. So yeah, I'll see you later.